Hello and welcome to another InventRight TV show. My name is Andrew Krauss. I'm one of the co-founders here at InventRight. Today, what we're going to be talking about is COVID and licensing. So people are making assumptions. I think some people are, others aren't, about how COVID is affecting um, their ability to license products. And so We've had students in over 65 countries. We have huge numbers of students with us every year. They're very active and as well as all our coaches are as well that are coaching them. So we know what's going on and I can give you the skinny like nobody else can as far as what's going on. It's not necessarily what you think. It's not all rosy, but in the end you'll be like, hmm, I think most of you, if you're reasonable, you'll be like, oh, I can accept that. That's pretty good, way better than I thought and I can work with that. But I'm gonna give you the upsides and the downsides of it. So first, um, Stephen and myself, we co-founded InventRight 20, 22 years ago now, and um, we've seen a lot of things over the years. And we saw the, the crash of uh, you know, 2008, 2009, and now we saw, uh, we were seeing COVID for the last year and a half or so, don't quote me on that time period. But um, what we've, experienced is we experience more of our students doing licensing deals not less and so you be like well and we didn't know that was going to be the case but think about it you know yes there's companies doing generic products but most companies if they don't innovate they die if they're just a me too they die at least the types of companies you're going to be licensing to so um, even if, which is not smart, if they cut back their R&D department, they still need new ideas. So, and you're the free research and development department. So if they don't like your product, they don't have to pay you, which is a beautiful thing, right? If they like it, they pay you, of course. So companies still need new products and the best companies are ones that will innovate during difficult times. They have some downtime, maybe it's a weird way to put it, but they can work on new products and it's not necessarily a bad time. It's actually a good time. Some of the best companies come out very strong and their competitors go by the wayside during tough times. So what we experience is more of our students were doing licensing deals than, than ever before. Now, here's the downsides, okay? And I don't think they're that big of downsides, but there are some downsides. One of the things that was irritating our students is deals, and this is still true now, actually, but not as much. Um, and it's August 10th, 2021 right now, by the way. So uh, what's true now is companies are taking longer to say yes to deals. They're very interested, but it's, it, especially during the height of COVID, it was taking them forever to get quotes back from China because they got to make sure this thing can be made and made at a reasonable price before they sign off on a licensing deal with you. So it was driving our students nuts. I think it was driving our negotiation coach, Paul, nuts. Um, but the deals were taking longer, but they're still getting done. But they were taking longer because they weren't getting those quotes back from China to know that what the pricing is. If the company was in the U.S. and they were manufacturing the U.S., that was not as much of an issue, really. Um, so that's one. that was one downside. But the students are like, hey, even though they're being anxious about things, is, as long as I get this deal, I'm good. Um, but it is very nerve wracking, especially on your first deal, if it's taking forever to get done and you're worried if, it, if it's going to come in at a reasonable price and all that sort of thing. So um, the other thing is now what's happening is it's taking longer for them to launch the product. So some of these companies are paying insane container costs. And when I talk to a bunch of them, I go, is this going to be this way a year from now? And they're like, no, no, they're just, so what some of these companies that um, are manufacturing feel like is that the shipping industry, because the supply chain got all messed up, they're taking advantage of the situation, partially taking advantage and partially just supply and demand. I think it's a combination of both. That's what I've heard from some of these manufacturers. And, you know, they used to be charging four or 5,000 for a giant container to ship product from overseas. And now they're charging 20,000. But also there's delays. It's not coming over as fast. So there's problems with getting the product over in a timely fashion and then the costs associated with doing that. Again, um, that is just meaning our students are getting royalties. It's just taking a little longer to get royalties. So deals are getting done more so with our students than before. Um, they're waiting. Deals are taking longer 
And then when the product is launching, it's taking longer to launch. So when you look at that, you look at the opportunity for licensing, that's really not so bad. And, you know, yeah, takes longer to do a deal, takes longer for them to get to market. But that, I'm talking to manufacturers, I think that is going to be changing in the next oh six months to a year as well so i don't think that'll be the case anymore so the overall picture pretty rosy but i wanted to share the upsides and the downsides of it with you guys and that's what's going on right now and there's nobody like invent right that can give you this timely information with so many of our students licensing and working on their products we know what's going on like right now so i wanted to share that with you and i remind you guys to take care keep inventing and we'll catch you on the next show. See you guys. Bye. There's a great idea in each of us. But it's truly magical to see it come to life. Sharing your creativity with the world has never been easier. We can help.